I'm Detective Inspector Rod Kemp, uh, South Western District. Could you tell me about this spate of robberies we've had involving uh, Asian people? Uh, we've had three offences over the last week um, involving young youths, Caucasian youths. Uh, we believe they're teenagers. Um, at this stage, we're not sure if the three offences are linked. We're quite confident that two of the offences are linked. From what I understand, all of the victims were Korean, is that correct? Uh, the last three offences we've had in the Runcorn, Sunnybank Hills area uh, have involved Korean nationals, victims, yes. So would you say that the, uh, the group of teenagers is specifically targeting Asian people? Uh, look, we can't say that from our investigations. What I can say is uh, these three attacks do not, to be, do not appear to be racially motivated. Uh, in that I can say that the conversations uh, did not allude to anything of a racial nature. What I can say is that I believe that the uh, three offences or three victims uh, were vulnerable. It was late at night and I think uh, they were displaying um, quality um, iPhones and iPads and the like, so that makes them vulnerable. Uh, we do not think that it's racially motivated. So you said they were, so they were targeting mobile iPads. Cash, was that important? That's right, Alicia. There was a handbag. In one case, a lady was walking on the street with a handbag, as you should be able to do, of course. Uh, these offenders uh, just just pick people at random, but yes, we have had three uh, Korean people attacked in recent times. Rob, one of the victims I know had approached some Korean media um, and was complaining felt that he was targeted because of his ethnicity. What, what would you say to his, to his allegations there? No, we've, we've uh, discussed, discussed it with that person and uh, uh, we've resolved that and he, he's now aware that, or believes that it wasn't racially motivated. Um, there was nothing said of a racial nature. Again, just that they were after his phone, mobile phone. It was 12.30 in, at night and he was vulnerable. Okay. And is there a, a, a description we can give of these views? Uh, unfortunately, it's fairly uh, vague. All, uh, we've had between two and four offenders uh, all teens, uh, in saying that they could be mid-teens to mid-twenties. Uh, the only description we got was one was t a taller person with uh, blonde curly hair um, and one was wearing a hoodie. But uh, We could do believe they were using a motor vehicle, but again the description of the motor vehicle is vague, just the headlights were seen. Okay. The victims, I mean, um, you said they were not vulnerable at, at night time, they're generally on the, by themselves. Would you put a message out there to, to people walking this time of night on their own? Yeah, sure, sure would. Um, and in discussing with the Korean uh, people involved, they said uh, often where they come from, there's thousands of people walking with them, large crowds. So obviously late at night in the suburbs of Brisbane, um, there's not the people around. So just be mindful of walking by yourself. Again, you should be able to walk by yourself, but um, you are you do make yourself vulnerable if you are on your own. So I'd remind people to stay with people if they can at all possible. No, we haven't recovered any CCTV at the stage. We are continuing that. Um, we're checking with the you know, Queensland Rail along the Fruit Grove Run Corn Railway stations, but at this stage there's no CCTV. Anything else you want to say? No, I'd just like to say that we're working with the Sunnybank community. Uh, our crime prevention people work closely with the um, Asian community in Sunnybank. We've got the Sunnybank project going. In fact, we've got crime prevention people now at Griffith University talking to the students highlighting that they can be vulnerable uh, walking alone and be seen as a soft target.